adventure awaits for you. Even if you're into RC, it's pretty easy to go out and have a good time. Sure, at the track you can just stand around and check your ride height a million times, but there's certain parts of RC that'll blow your mind away, just sort of like the wind blew this truck over. But RC four-wheel drive is here to take you outside and get you a little bit of exercise and some scale and hopefully some rollovers. Let's check it out. One of the best things about radio controlled vehicles is that there's something for everybody. You want to drag race, we got RC drag racing. You want to race motorcycles, there's actually motorcycles. And in this case, there's scale and performance. This Leaf Spring RC four wheel drive Trailfinder 2 comes out of the box pretty much like you see it right there, except we added the rust and the body rot and all that crap that's on there to make it look a little bit older because we like junk rides. But overall, it's a four wheel drive transfer case, ladder frame chassis that's actually pretty decent. And here it is. It comes out of the box pretty much assembled. The transfer case, the two-speed transmission, the axles all come built for you. It's good and bad. If you actually like the build, you're going to be kind of mad. If you're like me and lazy, this was like an easy kit to build and you're right out hitting the rocks. There's actually two kits in one here. One is the chassis. Like me, I prefer to build the mechanicals and see how they work. But half this battle is that body. It's one of the few kits that come with an actual plastic body that you have to assemble, paint, prime, and detail to your likings. You can make it simple or you can go crazy. Like many trucks of this class, you get leaf spring suspension, dampers that really don't have any fluid in them. Uh, in this case, you get a two-speed transmission, which is kind of cool. You get to go a little bit faster if you want. You're not stuck at seven miles an hour. The dirt on that uh, truck right there is because we ran it before we took pictures. Never mind that because we wanted to get out. We couldn't even wait to get the studio done. We just wanted to get out there. Uh, unfortunately, 50 mile an hour winds that day made it a little bit hairy, but hey, uh, that's part of the adventure. You can go out and it's gonna be raining in this truck and take it. Um, scaling ability, it's actually pretty decent. For stock, the tires are hard. Um, you can see that it, we're gonna get to some rougher stuff, but it handled the trails pretty well. Yes, the suspension is a little stiff if you're the pro scaler, but that's out of the box. And actually, I like it that way. There is a slipper in there in case you want to loosen it up so you don't put stress on the gears, but you know, we got enough power from the Tekken to power over everything. The articulation was pretty decent stock, but you can modify this truck to your likings. Uh, there's a lot of optional parts, and that's kind of the fun of this class, is it's like basically hopping up your real ride. You want to put a winch on, some new shocks, change the diffs, do everything you can, even the body if you wanted to get something out of that realm. But overall, we really had a good time with this. We had Rich Trujillo come out and help us with this video. And he hadn't run the stock vehicle in a while, and he forgot how much fun just kind of stiff suspension and watching it kind of rock back and forth and tackle whatever we can throw at it. And it takes a little bit of a challenge. It's not like you're clearing a double or you're going to figure out the rhythm section. This is slow motion. Try to figure out how to make it look scale, not get stuck. Watch out for the pumpkins under the axles. They do hang down a little bit farther than, well, I guess non-realistic cars because a real one would have a pumpkin hanging down. But you can see a little bit of power and wheel speed and you can climb up some decent stuff. In video, it's very difficult to see how steep this terrain is. Sometimes when you look down, you can see that we're way up in a valley, which not only presented a problem for the truck sometimes, but actually for the people driving it. Because you gotta be in decent shape to climb up some mountains and do some spelunking. That's what you do when we're not in a cave though. Out of the box, we really like this kit. The scale factor is almost a 10. I mean, it looks beautiful. Uh, the performance, you know, it's about average for the class. You know, uh, a little bit upgrades in the suspension, maybe some softer springs, and you're going to get more performance. Probably the biggest thing is going to be to change the softer tires. But there's something about keeping it stock and just having a good time and enjoying for what it is, climbing up the rocks that it can take, not trying to challenge, like, you know, unrealistic scenery. But overall, you're going to really have a good time with this truck, and the build is half the fun. Right now, it's we just got the body, but we're going to add a bunch of stuff, maybe some cardboard, a bike, a beer cooler, everything that we like in real life, and actually head up back up to the trails and spend some more time in nature. Want to know more about this kit or anything involved in RC? Subscribe to Velocity RC Cars Magazine. We're a real magazine. You download it to your iPad. For now, you're just going to get to watch running video of this truck climbing up as far as we can. Most of it in slow-mo because a lot of things look good in slow-mo, including this truck. Enjoy. Check out our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Maybe even Facebook. Check us out on Instagram. High five of us in the street.